Hello Internet. Well, as my regular subscribers all know, um, I normally do my product reviews uh, in our camper van when we go away for a, for a little holiday. But I'm, I'm quite excited about this one because I've had this in the post this morning so I thought I'd show you this now. Uh, I don't know about you but I love a little a, a cup of coffee and I've quite got into cappuccinos at the moment so we bought this thing. What it is, it's a milk frother. It's called Aero Latte Milk Frother. So what we're going to do, I don't know whether you can see that. So I'm going to make a cup of coffee with this milk frother. frother. It's battery operated. It takes two AA batteries and apparently it's really really good. I've got some good reviews on it on Amazon. So uh, I'm going to make a cup of coffee, a cup of cappuccino and hopefully we'll show you what it looks like. Right so here we are we've got uh, our cappuccino cup. So the first thing you want to do is pour some milk into your cup to about a third full. So fill your cup to about a third full with milk. Next thing is you put your milk with its cup into the uh, microwave. Now you need to get that up to about 60 degrees. Don't boil it, get it up to about 60 degrees. Obviously if you haven't got a microwave, which you, you might not have if you're camping, you can, you can put your milk in a saucepan on the hob and get it up to about 60 degrees. In the meantime, you need to put some coffee on. There we are, so uh, we've got a coffee machine there, so I've set our coffee machine going. You need to get it quite strong, and obviously you won't need a full cup of coffee. Um, you'd need just about um, a third of a cup of coffee, because you need a third milk, a third froth, and a third of coffee. So uh, set your coffee going while the microwave's heating up the milk. Right, so uh, we've heated the milk up. Now the exciting bit. What you need to do now is put it, I suggest you put it into a separate container like this jug that I've done and then you put your uh, Aero Latte thing in and start it underneath, under the surface of the uh, of the milk and start it frothing. There you can see it's working there. So that froths up the, uh, the milk and it obviously increases in volume. So keep it spinning, keep it moving around the outside, but keep it under the surface of the milk all the time, otherwise it will splash. That's getting that nice and frothy now. So when you've frothed it all up, you can switch the Aero Latte off. So there we are, there's a simple switch on the side there which you switch. So you can switch it off. We've got a nice frothy milk in there now. So pour that into your cup. Look at that, lovely. Just right. And then you need to get the coffee and actually pour it on top of the froth. There we are, I've got my coffee. Pour that on top of the froth. Like that. Next thing to do is get some chocolate powder or cocoa and sprinkle that on top. So we'll do that now. There we are, I've sprinkled the uh, chocolate on top. Now that to me looks like a perfect cappuccino. What do you reckon to that? So this is it. It's the Aero, Lat, Aero Latte and uh, if you look in the description on the video there's a link to Amazon where you can buy it. I think it cost us, it was £8 something, I can't remember the exact price, it might have been £8.73 or something like that. So that's a lovely little device, really easy to carry. In the uh, if you're taking it away camping, it's got this. It's got the uh, little camping uh, little case there to carry it in, little plastic case, and it also comes with. If you can't remember the instructions, I've just told you it comes with a full set of instructions, 
in about 10 different languages so if you're multilingual you can read all that but uh, yeah it's a nice little nice little thing that to take away so I'm going to drink my coffee now cheers everybody oh I could do with a nice bit of cake with this